What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this is it. Leaked pictures of the very first iPhone 7 in fully assembled form. So these pictures actually confirm several new things. There's one thing in particular that just got me excited because it is absolutely the future and nobody else is doing it right now. But first off, these pictures basically depict the new gloss black piano black color. It looks fantastic. It's like Darth Vader's very personal iPhone. Now there is a light blue version that got leaked as well. There's still a chance, I guess, that we might see something like that tomorrow, but what's more likely is there will be a piano black and a matte black option. Anyways, looks fantastic. It also confirms a couple other things. The SIM card tray also pictured has a rubber seal around it. So that IPX7 water resistance rating is absolutely going to happen on both iPhone 7 models. Also the flash unit on the back of this iPhone 7 does look different. That's because it has the new four LED setup, which is going to make for a much, much brighter flash and more effective true tone. We can tell that this is the real deal because the camera has all the little details that the iPhone 7 would inside. I mean, I think it looks great. <laughs> we only have under 24 hours till we find out what's real and what's not. Next up, a Vietnamese tech website claims to have used the iPhone 7 in person, and they're confirming several things. So first off, the matte black color option is real. The Apple logo is gonna be completely matte, not shiny like this. It will remain shiny on the other colors, just not on the black one. And here's the detail that gets me very excited. That 4K camera is gonna be capable of 60 frames per second video capture. They also claim that the volume buttons will no longer have that concave dip inside. Instead, it will be flush and the volume buttons will just sit on the exterior body. This is probably in an attempt to make it more water resistant. That's just another area that water can get into the phone. Also, the home button, the 3D touch home button is happening. It's gonna be virtual. It's not gonna have an actual click, but thanks to the haptic engine, it's gonna feel like it, just like Force Touch on MacBooks. And the real geek bench numbers have leaked for the iPhone 7 Plus. This is what we're looking at, about a 35% increase over last year's model. So if we actually take a look back at every Geekbench results from every iPhone that I did, these numbers are absolutely beastly for the single core score in particular. So the single core score is what's going to matter when you're launching applications, system animations, just using the phone as you would every day. And wow, I don't even think I've seen numbers higher than this on a consumer smartphone today. This is going to blow so many phones away and I cannot wait to test it against the Samsung Galaxy S7 and even Note 7. And what broke news the other day is that Apple will be boosting production of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus by 10%. Suppliers have received higher numbers for the orders and this is probably because with all of the news and rumors about the iPhone 7 it's being accepted very well everyone's got a good attitude about it not to mention the Samsung Galaxy Note 7's failure. Right now is a really great shot for Apple to begin selling the iPhone 7 Plus in wake of the Note 7's failure. People are gonna be wary of buying it now, not to mention you gotta be walking around with one of these in your pocket. So yeah, the Galaxy Note 7's failure is gonna be a huge success for the iPhone 7 Plus, and that's why Apple is boosting orders. So there it is, guys. I will see you tomorrow for the main event. Hopefully Apple will be releasing the MacBook Pros. That is just my number one wish right now. It's been way, way too long. But in any case, the Apple Watch 2, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, and iOS 10. Get your wallets ready, guys. Peace.